Hello there and welcome back to the north. I have fixed the game bake, uh, breaking uh, bug and I have uh, fixed all titles uh, making Lord Paramount John of the North Lord of the North. My heir is now Sansa Stark who is married to Peter Baelish and she is pregnant. I assume with his child. We have also joined Stannis' uh, war for the Iron Throne but this has actually made Stannis my uh, subject but that's it's just uh, not really true, is it? We, we know what's really up. So we made a promise to Stannis. We are going to attempt to help him get on the Iron Throne. But first... First, there are much bigger issues at hand. We need a maester. Also, I have made Lord Dustin the Lord of Hornwood. And while we're at it, uh, any high lordships to be made? Stony Shore, Brook and Branch. Oh wait, did I accidentally give myself that as well? That wasn't on purpose. But Bowen Marsh at the Wall is under attack, and we need to help him. We go to these whites. We're going to declare the War for Dawn. Yes, the most important thing at hand is the War for Dawn. We're going to call the realm for aid. Of course. Now uh, we can't call up any levies yet as we don't have the time. So we're just going to role play that this next month is us arranging and calling our banners. Here's the rightful king of the Seven Kingdoms. Stannis Baratheon. Oh, so I actually got that pop up anyway. Wait, what? Lord Paramount Aegon's? Oh no, I don't want to be in his war. Oh shit. How do I get out of this? I only had one option. I only had one bloody option. Now I've joined his fucking war. Ah, shit. We're going to have to just ignore that. Fine for two kings of the Iron Throne, of course. Ah, well. Uh, right, so we need to... The council's fine. I'll leave, leave the council where it is. These are the people who are loyal to me. All of their people are now directly sworn to me, though. That is quite unique. Well, I guess it's the way to get the most troops out of the north. Anyway, let us fall steam ahead. What is this? House Foss away will answer. Very good. As for you, Lady Dustin, you can marry as you please. And you have chosen to marry a Dior. Good for you. Lord Stannis has won his war and raised me up as Lord of Winterfell. Melisandre has been beseeching, beseeching me, however. John. She is close. So close he could feel the warmth of her breath. For law is the only true god. A vow sworn to a tree has no more power than one sworn to your shoes. Open your heart and let the light of the Lord come in. Burn these weirwoods and accept Winterfell as a gift of the Lord of Light. Become Relore, favored by Relore. It's not going to happen. I have no rights. Well, uh, Winterfell belongs to the old gods. Excellent. Good, I have a maester. It sucks I've accidentally joined Aegon's war though. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way. Open council positions, I need an advisor. Lord Amber, of course. Do we still have, we still have no men. Oh well, we'll raise what we have, we have 1,400 and we'll start to march them towards. No we won't, that'd be just foolish, they'll all fucking die. All right, we'll uh, amass at Winterfell as soon as we can. Oh good, their war's over. Someone involved in that. We still can't raise any men. Why? Why will you not give me your men, good sirs? You don't all hate me, do you? Nice fifty seven, why? Female heir desires control over his lands. Alright, Lord Glover, I'll transfer your vassalages to you, Lord Woods. Lord Branch. And Lord, well, no, Lord Bold, they supported me directly. I'll, I'll keep them. Uh, you, my lord, will transfer over to you the lordships of uh, Ironsmith. I'll transfer you back the lordship of Glenmore. You can have House Fisher as well. Why not? Transfer vassalage to House Fisher. Very good. The Flint, it is quite annoying I have to go through this. Transfer vassalage of the Lord Hayes. Transfer vassalage of the Lord Flint. Very good. 
And of course, there are houses such as you, Lord Reed, will transfer over to you your rightful lands of House Marsh and House Blackmore and the other one, the uh, Le Fen. Very good. Uh, Lady of Barrowton, i not so much sure about you. We'll transfer you stuff anyway. Orland and the other house of uh, Stout. Very good. And that leaves White Harbour. Who owns that? Tell you. Oh, the Bolton still exists. Uh, Stannis, Burns, Ramsay, and Roos. Which is a good thing. Okay, Lord Mandley, why don't we transfer to you your rightful lands? House Wells? And uh, House. House Lock? And is it Waterman? It is Waterman. Very good. Then we'll have uh, the Car Starks and the Umbers. Yeah, it's a little distraction, but we're going for all the houses of the north. We're rallying them all together. Making assurances. Oh, and this is Lady Alice Harstark. Okay, well, Benjamin of the East Mount can join you. Well, Lady Alice Harstark, due to your joining of us, we'll also give you the, uh, the Skigosi. Due to your house's loyalty, as well as their disloyalty. Kroll, and then the Magyar, we'll give to you as well, my lady. There you are, very good. And of course the Umbers, the final house to be granted extra, or granted back their own lands. Transfer Vassals of Orgray, and then there's Lake. And you were very loyal to us. Maybe we will grant you extra holdings. Maybe the House of Nori could be useful to you, good Lord Amber. Excellent. No, there's nothing else to uh, to worry about. We could give House Bow the High Lordship of this land. They were a good house, good for the Northern clans. But it barely supported me. It was one guy in my council. It's uh, let's not get over our heads. Right, Broken Branch, we'll actually create that. I'll give that to Lord Dustin, very good. Congratulations, Lord Dustin. Broken Branch is yours. We'll not give extra lands to the Boltons, though. We'll keep Overton separate. Excellent, can we raise an army yet? We can, 22,000 Northmen are ready. Excellent. Our armies will amass at Winterfell. All of them. All of our banners will march to Winterfell. And we'll attempt to side with the enemies. Who you sided with? The fucking others. Ah, Janna Slint has died. Excellent. I'm glad he's done. But it's boring because so I rival his son. No. No more. So, no, you... Hang on a second. What, who the fuck are you fighting against? Against. So what, Stannis lost all of his lands? No, he's still Lord of Dragonstone, but apparently Alakine is leading his war now. I don't know, but uh, the Dustins here have betrayed us. Oh, Taishara Lance has been killed by Gormand. Good for him. Good riddance. It is a shame that the uh, Barrowlands have decided to go against us. It is a huge shame. I should see another northern house leave. No, it's just the, the words changing here. Excellent, I'm now a skilled commander. 24 marshal. And I do require a marriage. There has to be a marriage somewhere. We can either unify ourselves with the north, or we can look for a foreign ally in this war. Who would be a useful ally? Who can bring more men to us? Is there a certain... Uh, is there a certain lady who is married? Ah, damn it. Dragons would have been great against the army of the undead. Okay, we must unify ourselves with a northern house. If we marry into House Karstark, it will give us greater 
Stark of Cl uh, Greater Claim of Stark Heritage. Do they have anybody to match? No, they don't. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just have another look around here. We'll sort by age. Go for somebody around my similar sort of age. No, there's not really anybody at all. There is a Lady Royce. We could maybe get the Royces on side to march north and help us. That might be our only option. How's Royce? Is it one of your daughters? Zilla Royce is already married. This is the Royce of the... No, it's not. So who the fuck is it? Nesta Royce. He won't be able to call, uh, be called up. Okay, that just sucks. So what if we remain unmarried? We'll search our realm for women who are unmarried. We want people of our religion. Our culture. I'll sort by age there. See if there is anybody hidden away somewhere. Lady Cassell. Too old, Lady Hornwood. But there is a Lady Cassell. A Lady Lyanna Mormont. Other than that, it's young Glover girl. Uh, looks like Beth Cassell is the only person we are currently able to marry. Bethany Cassell. Could be a worthy queen of the north. And she is of age to be married. Looks like that might be our only option here. Alice Carstark would have been perfect, but she is herself married. Beth Cassell, would you marry me? Yes, you would. Excellent. Mistress Beth of King's Course. Right, we'll allow our army to keep marching. It's a shame we can't get a greater ally. But I have myself got some married. Lady Beth is now the uh, the lady of the north. I will assign a guardian if I can. Myself, of course. Everyone's concerned. No, the people respect wealth. We ourselves would like to take the ambition to win the war. Excellent. Candid. Alright. What do we got going on here? Command Galbert of the Wolfswood to end his war. Yes, Galbert, now is not the time. Good man. Right, we do, however, have um, time to host a wedding. Good. We'll host a wedding while the banners uh, unify at Winterfell and then we will march north. Alright, apparently I'm part of the Iron Throne. Um, right, okay. If they try to imprison me, I will release myself, because that is quite clearly against everything. Despite treason's actions, uh, I'll be kept as a prisoner. Alright, so we're going to have to simply... Um, yeah, because we're up north in Winterfell. There's no way he would have been able to capture me, so we're going to have to just switch over quickly here. Right, uh, char info. Let's get rid of that other thing. Char info. We want to play 7316. Very good. We will fucking release this prick. Excellent. And the north is actually not under the crown. So, there's no way I can give them independence. But they are quite honestly not part of the crown, so I don't know what the fuck is going on here. So maybe I need to start a new civil... I need to start a new war over here. Can you invade Euron? You're not bankrupt, for fuck's sake. Can you invade Euron so we get a mega war system? What do you mean you're not fucking bankrupt? You're not fucking bankrupt. So can we declare to invade you? Is there anything you can do here? Claim the reach. In the name of anybody. Doesn't matter. Needs to be approved by your fucking regents. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, let's go back to playing as John. I, I can't help it. Apparently we're part of the Iron Throne now. There's nothing I can do. I I tried. I can't 
declare war against him because we have our levies raised. So nothing I can do here. I've I've tried, but I can't do it. Good for you, good sir. Um, we'll not spend too much. I don't want to spend too much on anything at all. Our own wars continue. Yes, but why am I part of your fucking realm? Uh, let's go for direct vassals so we can see the north. Very good. Also, the arms of House Dustin have agreed to once again join us. So we're very grateful. Me, myself, I am uh, I'm up here, buddy. Let's also go through our generals while we're at it. John of Last Half. Meg Mormons, we have a 19 in there. J.O., you are replaced by Lord Wool. You are a 16, you are replaced by Howland. Excellent, this is the dream team. And a captain of the household guard. How about Howland Bowl? Very nice, very nice indeed. Now, come on, army, get it together. A great honour. Ward of North, I am not your subjects. May the gods protect us. May they indeed. So they have taken the wall. Oh, so this is all his his stuff here. Alright, so I'm just going to have to assume everything north is hostile. Who the fuck is that? Is that Samuel Tarly? No, it's not learned enough. She made a glorious ceremony. Welcome to the wedding. Everyone knows the tale of the Tower of Joy from the War of the Usurper. My father's sister, Lyanna, was held prisoner there by Rhaegar Targaryen, guarded by three king's guard. After the war was won, Eddard and his companions rode on to the tower to rescue her from her captivity. That they prevailed in a battle worthy of song was for to be the extent of the tale, but Howland Reed was there and says there is more to the story. He says that Rhaegar and Lyanna had a child together, one that Rhaegar called his true-born son and placed under the protection of the king's guard. This child, he says, was rescued by Eddard and his identity kept secret. He says this child is me. I cannot believe this. I shall think on this. You keep your parentage secret for now. You'll be able to claim the Iron Throne at any point. This makes me the rightful king. John gets a strong claim on the Seven Kings of the Iron Throne. King John and everyone else goes against. Uh, then that makes me the rightful king of the Iron Throne. I guess it does. We don't know Daenerys. We supported Stannis, but... We don't care for him. And that makes me the rightful king of the Iron Throne. I will claim my birthright. As for you, Lord Karstark, I will find you somebody nice. Do you have anybody nice in court? Gilly. Uh, I'll ignore that. I decline anything you say. I am not part of your realm, no matter what you think. So is there any intrigue decision we can do? Legalized parentage. What does this mean? Oh, so I have to be at peace for any of this. Alright, alright. Well, let us get our men together and let us march north against this other threat. We have about similar numbers. From what I can see. Oh, fine tradition. I've bedded my wife, Lady Cassell. I had great fun, so did everyone else. Excellent. Let's get our armies together. I will lead the center. We'll have John Amber on one flank. And we'll have Meg Mormont on the other. Or more Zamba. Or Hugo Wool, very defensive. More Zamba. We'll take the Ambers up north. They do have quite the army. 42,000. And only Lord Fossway has offered to join us. Lord Fossway is... Where are your armies, Lord Force? Wait, he's at the Twins. It's quite a while away. But that'll do for this episode. When you come back, we will march north and we will take on this threat. Our war for the dawn will happen. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.